Hi everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explaining about uh, the topic number systems. In that number systems, I will explain the concept of uh, number of factors. I will explain the concept of number of factors. How to find number of factors of any number. Okay. I will explain that particular concept in this session and in the next session we will discuss uh, problems on this uh, number of factors. Okay. First uh, let me explain uh, how to find the number of factors. Uh, okay. Very important concept based on this number of factors uh, number of ways will depends. Okay. Once you know how to calculate number of factors of any number then it is very easy to calculate number of ways of expressing the given number as a product of two factors or two different factors. Okay. First, uh, number of factors. Suppose, for example, let us take a number 4. Let us take a number 4. If you see this number 4, for the number 4, the factors are 1, 2 and 4. For the number 4, the factors are 1, 2 and 4. Four. These are the factors, right? Now, if you observe carefully, number of factors. Number of factors is nothing but uh, 1, 2, 3. 3 factors for the number 4. For the number 4, how many factors? 3 factors. Suppose, for example, if you have taken 6. The factors for 6 are 1, 2, 3, 6. These are the factors of 6. 1, 2, 3, 6. All these are factors of 6. And the number of factors are how many factors? Total 4 factors. Right? Now, all these numbers are small numbers. Even if you take 12 also, the factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. All these are factors. Right? So, Number of factors for this number 12, which is uh, 6 factors, which is 6 factors. It means uh, it is very easy to calculate number of factors if uh, the number is small number. But what if at all the number of uh, number is a big number? That is uh, whether it is uh, any two digit uh, bigger number. Suppose for example, uh, 96 uh, or else uh, if you have taken 144 and uh, 280 like this uh, and sometimes there is a chance of giving uh, big numbers like 1156. For these kind of uh, numbers it is not always possible to write all the factors and finding uh, uh, counting all the factors. It is definitely a difficult task right. So in order to avoid that particular thing what we will do is in order to avoid that particular difficulty we are having a separate concept for this number of factors uh, to count the to find the number of factors it is very simple task once you uh, understand the concept uh, the calculation of number of factors is very simple listen carefully here the first and foremost step to calculate number of factors is Whatever the number, whatever the number which is given, write down that number. Let us take the number is n. Let us take the given number is n. We need to write this given number as a, as a product of prime factors. As a product of prime factors. What is meant by prime factors? All base values must be prime numbers and the power values are positive numbers or positive integers. All base values are prime numbers and power values are natural numbers or positive integers. Here the number is n. Here the number is n. I am writing this number in terms of prime factors. In terms of what? Prime factors. According to prime factors all base values must be prime numbers. It means a, B, C and so on. All these numbers are prime numbers. All these numbers are prime numbers. Whereas coming to the powers P, Q, R and so on. All these numbers are positive integers. All these numbers are 
positive integers or natural numbers positive integers or natural numbers so first and foremost step is uh, write the given number in terms of prime factors so that you will get the answer right first once the first step is completed the second step is directly number of factors is equal to number of factors is equal to p plus 1 into q plus 1 into r plus 1 and so on here very simple what we are doing here is adding 1 to the powers and then we are multiplying those numbers here the power value is p q r for all the power values we are we are adding 1 after that we are multiplying those numbers p plus 1 into q plus 1 into r plus 1 and so on there is no end to that number here uh, based on the number of prime numbers suppose if there are only two prime numbers you can take up to b only b power q if there are more than three additionally you need to write a few more prime numbers also okay once the first step is done only first step is important uh, you need to calculate prime factors first whatever the number is given you just write down that particular number in terms of prime factors once it is done finding the number of factors is not a difficult task which is uh, p plus 1 into q plus 1 into r plus 1 that means we are adding 1 to the powers and then we are multiplying each other in that way we need to calculate a uh, number of uh, factors okay let me explain the example previously we have taken one example 12 previously we have taken one example 12 for that 12 we got the answer 6 number of factors as 6 first we will check it out whether we are getting this answer or not by using uh, this method this method first step is what write the given number in terms of prime factors here 12 is not a prime number i can write 12 as 2 into 6 or else you can directly write down as 3 into 4 it doesn't matter and again 2 is a prime number but 6 is not a prime number right so again i will write 6 as 2 into 3 so 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 which is nothing but 2 square into 3 power 1. 2 square into 3 power 1. Therefore, number of factors. First step is successfully completed. I have written the given number in terms of prime factors. First step is done. Once it is done, number of factors. Number of factors is nothing but adding 1 to the powers. Here the power value is 2. 2 plus 1 into here the power value is 1 1 plus 1 2 plus 1 is 3 1 plus 1 is 2 3 into 2 6 therefore the number of factors for the number 6 we got the same result as that of previous one those factors are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 these are the six factors of 12 but every time it is not possible to write down all the uh, factors and counting all the factors. That is a difficult task. In order to avoid that, uh, we are having a separate shortcut method. That is, uh, first step, write down the given number in terms of prime factors. Once it is done, number of factors is nothing but uh, power plus 1 into power plus 1 into power plus 1 and so on. Let me explain one more uh, example, one small example. In the next session, we will discuss a uh, uh, little bit of bigger numbers uh, and how to find the number of factors of those numbers. I will explain in the next session. Here, I will explain uh, uh, one more small example that is uh, 48. First, I will just write the given number as a product of any numbers. Whatever the number which comes first. Uh, I will write that value, right? Here, in examination point of view, don't waste your time uh, 
by uh, writing whether it is uh, 4 into 12 or else 2 into 24. You just write down whatever the number strikes immediately. Write down that number. Suppose if you if uh, if you want to write down 2 into 24, write down like that only. 2 is a prime number. Again, 24 is not a prime number. Again, if you want to write down this number as 3 into 8, write down like this. Here, 3 is a prime number, but 8 is not a prime number. Write down this 8 as 2 cube directly. Right? Now, this 48 is equal to 2 into 2 cube which is 2 power 4 into 3 power 1. 2 power 4 into 3 power 1. First step is successfully completed, right? Now, the only thing what we have to do is to calculate the number of factors. Add 1 to the powers 4 plus 1 into and the power value. Second one power value is 1 plus 1. Here 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 into 2, 10. Therefore, the number of factors for the number 48, which is 10 factors. 10 is the required answer for this question. Guys, in this way, we will calculate a number of factors of any number. Here, in this session, I explained the concept, how to calculate number of factors, as well as a few examples, a small example. In the next session, I will explain, uh, I will take a uh, few, a uh, little bit of bigger numbers and then I will explain uh, the number of factors, how to calculate for big numbers. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you enjoy the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.